Nexus One Take Apart Guide. First remove the battery door by sliding it upwards with your thumbs. And then remove the battery. Once the battery is removed, you can then take out the micro SD card. To take it out, just press it in to eject it. You will now see the three screws that are exposed. To remove the one that is near the battery connector, you will need to use a small double zero Phillips screwdriver. And then the two screws located at the top of the phone will be a number 5 Torx screw. Next use your flat tool to lift out the black plastic battery holder. Gently pry up on it around the edges to remove it. You can now remove the power button located at the top and the volume switches located on the side. Now to remove the HTC antenna cover. Gently use your flat nylon tool to separate the casing. Take your time and be patient because you don't want to damage the case. Once it begins to separate, you can then slide it out of place and take it off. Now below what with the antenna cover is now a black plastic guard that needs to be removed. There are two Torx 5 screws that need to be removed. Once the two torque screws have been removed, use your flat tool to separate the black plastic piece from the casing. Now use your double zero Phillips screwdriver again to remove the two screws holding down the board. And now use your flat tool to unhook three flex cables from the board.
and now use your flat tool to unhook the antenna cable here and the small flex cable here. Now use your flat tool to gently lift up on the board from the top. Once the cables are loose, you can then lift up on it to separate the adhesive from the cable and the back of the LCD. Now use your flat tool to gently lift up on the board here from the bottom and then slide the board out. The motherboard is now free. Located on the back of the board you will find two flex cables which joins the top and the bottom boards together. Now you can take off the microphone cover if it has not already fallen off. Now use your double zero Phillips screwdriver to remove the three screws located here. Once those are removed, you can then lift up on it to remove the trackball. Simply press on the trackball from the front side to remove it. Now use some tweezers or a flat tool to remove the anti-static tape from the back of the board. Now use a small flat tool and gently pry the flex cable from underneath the casing here. This can be a little difficult, so be careful to not damage the cable. Now use your flat tool to separate the tape from the back of the USB port. Once that is separated, you can then pry up on the LCD and it is free to be removed.